Hello, beautiful family. Stephen here. Um, Friday, the 14th of June in the year 2024. Uh, I just thought I'd show you these freaky, freaky clouds. I mean, look at, just look at these clouds. Do these look normal to you guys? No, it don't look normal to me. Just look at it. Look at it. Is that weird or strange or what? Look, it actually looks like it could be raining over there. Don't you think? And I noticed Sister Catherine sent me a, a video of Florida and it looks like, wow, look at that. It looks like blue. I mean, it, doesn't it look like it's raining over there? But anyway, she sent me these, this video from Florida and it looks like looks like they could be potentially having a tornado there. So if anybody don't realize by now that they they are certainly messing with the weather, just take a closer look. They certainly are. Look at it all. None of that is actual real cloud. It's all this plasma. Well, I don't know what it is, to be honest with you, except um, I used to watch a guy called Richie, Richie from Boston, and that's the sea, but uh, Richie from Boston, he said, he said it's, it's made of plasma, and oh, look at that now, does that look freaky to you guys? It certainly does to me, very, very, wow. This is so eerie and so strange. Doesn't it look like it's raining over there, guys? Look at it. Lord, rebuke it all in the name of Jesus Christ. So sick of it, I tell you. Come, Lord Jesus, get us out, get us out of here. We need to go now, Lord. Look at that stuff up there. That one looks that dirty, filthy stuff. But Jesus Christ is coming and, and he's going to take us out of this, this horrible place. Well, the actual earth itself is beautiful. Beautiful. It's just what these fallen angels and demonic entities are doing to the, to the atmosphere. My gosh, I can't believe how freaky that looks. It, it probably doesn't look the same on the camera, but... Anyway, guys, I love you all. <clears throat> Look at that, it looks like the, the sun's set over there, doesn't it? When, as a matter of fact, <laughs> it's set over there. So, isn't that weird? Would you say that that's raining, guys? Doesn't it look like it is? Anyway, I love you all, beautiful family. Some people... Hello. <laughs> Let's see, I'm be careful with the phone, I don't drop it down there. But um, some people question, question their salvation as if it's potentially just a temporary thing that God gives us, you know? When uh, Ephesians 1, 13, I think it might be, it says, Greek. Grieve not the Holy Spirit, where, is that, I think, no, I think that's Ephesians 4.30, the word is, grieve not the Holy Spirit, whereby we are sealed, no, that's, well, anyway, Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, says we're sealed until the day of redemption, and Ephesians 2.8 and 9, says, for by grace are we saved, through faith, and that not, not of yourselves, it is the gift, the gift of God. Not, not, not of works, lest any man should boast. But that couldn't get any clearer to me that, you know, you're saved. Past tense, past tense. Do you know what? God doesn't want us, he did not want you to lay hold of your salvation, believe on Jesus, and then be this doubting Thomas. You know, and start question. Ooh, am I saved? And you become double-minded. You become double-minded, and you 
and you begin to doubt and then you start to you start to become unstable in all that you do and um, that's not a good place to be God wants you to know once you've believed on Jesus Christ once you believe the gospel that Jesus on that cross died for all our sins according to the scriptures of 1 Corinthians 15 3 and 4 he died for our sins he was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to scriptures Christ God wants us to know that we are eternally secure and there's nothing we need to do to add to our salvation maintain our salvation and there's nothing we could possibly do to lose our salvation and some people say hey, you've got to keep the faith you've got to keep up the good works you've got to keep the commandments of God and blah 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 it's not true it's not true I mean of course we want to please God we want to keep the faith who wouldn't want to keep the faith you know after all he's done for us look at this cloud now have you seen how it's turned from that strange thing who wouldn't want to keep the faith I mean that faith has saved us with a heavenly calling so who wouldn't want to keep it I mean there is something called backsliding you know where you go go back you you slide back into your old ways once you're saved that doesn't cause you to lose your salvation though it can grieve holy spirit by which we are sealed until the day of redemption with the seal of promise holy spirit of promise does god go back on his promises mm -hmm. The thing he started, as it says in the first chapter of Philippians, uh, we are confident that the, th the, the good thing that God has, Jesus has started in us, he will bring it to completion by the day of Christ. I just can't get over these blue, well, it, it looks blue to me. It looks bluish, like a, a gray blue kind of color, but oh my, well, Christ is coming in, in the clouds of heaven with great power and glory and he's going to send out his angels and they're going to gather his elect from the four winds and take us up to heaven. For the Lord himself will descend from... Look, it is raining over there, isn't it? For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first in the first resurrection, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the chemtrails, to, <laughs> in the cloud, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So, let me know if you all think it's raining over there. Look at that over there, doesn't it look kind of strange as if the sun's set over there? Or maybe not, slightly. It does to me. There's some strange stuff going on. Strange, strange, strange. And for me, I feel like the sooner Christ comes, well it is, it's a fact. The sooner Christ comes, the better for us the better for us look at that that seems like a really white you know anyway guys i love you all don't be moved away from your faith don't let anybody persuade you that you must keep up the good works otherwise you're going to lose your salvation don't let anybody convince you that we have to be here for the for great tribulation apocalypse no, we don't. That's not for the church. I mean, Scripture says we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. But not great tribulation. That's not for the church. That's Jacob's trouble. Jacob being uh, the Jews. And it's uh, apocalypse. The revealing of God's judgments. His wrath and judgments. We are not appointed. Ooh. Got a bit of a toothache. 
we're, we're not appointed to God's wrath, but to obtain salvation at the coming of the Lord Jesus, redemption of our bodies. Wow, look how sweet it is, guys. Come, Lord Jesus. Wouldn't you agree? Come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyway, to the people who, who, who come against come against the simplicity that is in Jesus. Those people who doubt, doubt you know, oh, that's saying, that doubt that, you know, that we can lose our salvation. I don't have anything against you. Not at all. And um, I try to get back to every comment, but sometimes you, you give me work to do. And then when I've got other things to do, so I have to spend time I'm not complaining, it's actually good for me because it helps me to get a better understanding of God's word, but you know uh, it's like Hebrews Hebrews chapter ten, there's verses in there, there's verses in chapter six that can make you stumble if you don't rightly divide the word of God. First of all, you've got to get established that once you're saved, that's it. It's a done deal. You cannot lose yourself. You, can you take yourself out of the hands of God? Can you say to God, I don't want this salvation. Do you think so? I don't. Anyway, doesn't matter. I love you all, family. And uh, please believe on Jesus Christ. Don't be one of those people who are left behind. Oh, and just one more thing. One more little thing. <clears throat> Oh gosh, that's bright. Jesus Christ is coming any second. Don't forget to leave your left behind letters. Very soon, millions of people shall suddenly disappear. Why have millions of people suddenly disappeared? Because we were raptured and it was not aliens. It was not these guys. It was the Lord Jesus Christ. So I love you all. Oops. Oops. Best not have that. Anyway, I love you all. Beautiful family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, Lord Jesus. Come quickly now. We love you. We bless you. We praise you. Yeah, that's where most of you guys are. And I love you all very much. All of you. No matter where you are. But I know there's... It seems that most of my subs... Most of you are from... From this great big country. There's only a few of that from states. Let's see. That's a valid two dollar bill which Kim sent me. This was Virginia. She, she sent me that. Um, Virginia Donovan. Um, was it? Uh, Virginia. All right, guys. I love you. See you. See you. See you. In the clouds of heaven.